This light bulb is rated for two and a half watts, while my outlet can provide more than 3000 watts. So why does this light bulb not try to use everything? And this is where the magic should happen, but literally the wire is just connected to the outside. There's no resistors or chips or anything. So it seems that it's just straight up connecting the wires from the socket. So I might need some help. <laughs> As you can see, this is my brother and he has a black belt in nerd. I mean, a master in chip design, which is basically the same thing. The main thing I don't understand is why it doesn't pull more electricity than it can handle. So there's no like pulling, it's just like there's a relation between voltage and current. What he's getting at here is that every electrical component has a resistance. And that resistance determines the ratio between voltage and current. With a certain amount of volts and a certain amount of resistance, there will be a certain amount of current. Actually, if you know any two of these three, you can work out the other one. So if you make a thicker wire, it will have less resistance, it will have less resistance, so more current will flow for the same uh, voltage. So if you have like uh, 220, 220 volt and you put such a big wire in your light bulb, yeah. it would draw 3000 watts. It's way less complicated than I thought. Like, I always thought that resistance was this magical property, but it's not. Like, if you have a copper wire and you make it bigger, so more electrons can flow through more easily, less resistance. I mean, I'm not gonna pretend like I understand like why copper is more conductive than wood, but like for a given material, it's just simple things like thickness. What determines the heat? Heat is basically power, so voltage times current. Voltage times current is power. And apparently power determines the amount of heat that is generated. But I always thought it was resistance. If I rub my hands together and I start pressing harder, creating more resistance, they get warmer. But you gotta be careful. If I keep the power steady and I start pressing harder to increase resistance, my hands just stop moving. I also have to increase power. So power actually determines the amount of heat. And with light bulb, it's actually the case that if you lower resistance, more power can flow through. So with less resistance, they actually get hotter. So the tiny wire in this light bulb has just the right thickness so that it has the right resistance. So that with a 220 volt circuit like my wall outlet, it lets just the right amount of electrons through so that it barely melts, but not quite. But what happens if your light bulb isn't made for 220, but for 2.4? The ratio between voltage and current in a light bulb is fixed. So if I provide 100 times the voltage, I will also get 100 times the current. And since voltage times current is watts, the light bulb will have to handle 10,000 times the power it was made for. Which means 